might have a wonder, Alistair, if you will heads. indulge me. That'd just be why I have that choice. As soon as you what do you wish of me? Dead. If you must. I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Okay. Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. Tis a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. There were nights when the wilds called to me, tis true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, prowled shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human, I am under no illusions to the contrary. They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they That's think, cool. I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus, they cannot speak, even were I to ask. No, tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the circle of magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded lore from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could. But as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. I am surprised you think so. Still, it is a pleasant thing to hear. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? I wouldn't advise it. But enough of such talk. Let us proceed, lest the <laughs> dust gather on us. That was a little bit of a weird comment, but what do you I went with it. Me? I went with my gut. We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. And you are a fool. Is there a reason for this sudden insult? Do you wish me to leave? Ah. Too kind of you, then. <laughs> oh, no. I went back. Oops. I don't know. I don't know how that was going to be a compliment. I don't know. Maybe she would have liked it. Oh shit, inventory overload. You find like a shop or something and sell stuff. You don't look like the other folk fleeing the south. Were you in the battle? Huh, nothing so rude as a stranger. Hey? What's on now? Can't promise I'm gonna answer them. What isn't? We got chastened barbarians in every farmholder. Not that they'll be safe here with the army gone. You could talk to the elder, though she's got her hands full. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. 
were. You mean they're gone? Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to... Sir so Brian's would be glad, though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. Don't... Ooh. An award, you say? Uh, there's plenty of people I can talk to around here, but... Hey, little girl. this place. Why did we come here? those bandits are back again. Back again? I got, um, got rid of them. You there. If you're looking for safe shells, move on if you can. Lothering's lost. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'll be better off elsewhere, my friend. Best of luck wherever you might go. I want to keep I'm talking. Here to keep Shit. Watch. All right, all right. Have you seen my mother? Some mean men with swords came. And mother told me to run to the village as fast Aww. as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see her. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. man kind of like father i should go look for mother now and eileen spoke unto the masses my hearth is yours my bread is yours my life is yours for all who walk in the sight of the maker are one okay <laughs> Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devons. One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof once, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. Oh. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Um. Okay. My family to know the ring because I thought it safe. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at dark spawn hands. There, one of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Can Thank you him. not see the vile blackness that fills him? Please stop. Somebody shut his mouth. But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. My family, my clan, those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here, but we cannot escape the dog spawn. No, 
I won't listen to the words of a man tainted by Darkspawn. I ran, hearing my wife's screams as they dragged her off. Are you calling me a coward? I... I have shamed my ancestors. But the blackness will come. <laughs> he was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. I'm seem to defuse the situation there. Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. So many are coming to Lothering. I make no assumptions. Priests are within if you seek to offer devotion to the Maker, however. May he protect us all. Were? Did you drive them off? Well, Sir Brian will appreciate that. The revered mother runs the Chantry itself, and Sir Brian heads the Templar stationed here. Okay. Not since Tern Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the King. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Make her watch over you. sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon. Yes? Who might you be? Hello. I see. I am Sir Bryant, commander of the Lothering Templars. Tern Loghain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. The revered mother leads this flock. I merely command her Templars. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry and seek out unsanctioned magic. For now, it is all we can do to protect the innocent. Let us pretend that I was such a mage. What would you do to me? Hmm? Oh, I have no time to even think about such things right now. My concern is protecting these people. I see nothing threatening them other than the Darkspawn. We have more than swords at our disposal. We're taught to dispel unholy magics as well. If only our powers work to keep away the Darkspawn. Alas, it is not so. In her study, no doubt, preparing what she will take when we eventually evacuate. Our ban was summoned by Tern Loghain, and he took his soldiers north with him. Lothering has been abandoned. If the matter is important, certainly. Other than the Darkspawn horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Tern Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. Oof. None that we know of. Tern Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. Mm -hmm. Arl Eamon has fallen ill. Oh no! And his knights are on a quest for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes, said to cure any malady. He must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies. Well, never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. If the matter is important, certainly. Only if you are interested in the business of mages. I am. I have heard word that the Templars who watch over the Circle of Magi's Tower have called for the right of annulment. 
Hopefully I've heard wrong. What does that mean? If the right of annulment is invoked, the tower and every living soul within will be destroyed. Oh, wow. We need the Circle's help. We should go and find out what's happening. To have such a call when mages are needed to fight the Darkspawn, something terrible must have happened. I have nothing else to tell you. The only news I care about is the approaching horde. Now, unless there's something else you need. If the matter is important, certainly. Now, unless there's something else you... They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I'm needed. Now, unless there's something else you need. I cannot openly help you, I fear, but... Here, take this key. Oh. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. Nice. Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? Indeed, they're gone. It's true. I saw the bastard running for the hills myself. That's an impressive feat indeed. Will you accept a small reward for your efforts? Of course. If it interests you, there is a Chanter's board outside, full of quests that need doing. The Chanters even offer pay for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need, travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Thank you. I got 20 silver for that? God damn. Um... Uh, I think I'm full on inventory. I'm actually one over. I need to find a way to sell my stuff off. Who? Sir Donald. I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the urn of sacred ashes then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. Apologies, I don't. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads lore, me to believe you say. this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. My fellow knight and traveling companion. He is delayed, though. My mission takes priority. But I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. Why is that, if I may ask? I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. The Arl fell ill before the King died. But what if Loghain planned that too? Oh, such thoughts do not sit well with me. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesser is there, and she could tell you more than I could. I expect you to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Good luck to you. And to you, Alistair. I hope to one day see you again. And you, Sir Donald. Where can we go? Just be more this is no better than what we left. And when the Maker spoke, 
chant of light scattered I'll open that up in a second. I, I need to sell my stuff Fear or something. Ignorance. Let those who cry out from the shadows be comforted. Let those who seek redemption be delivered. Let those who have I brought my family to Lothring because I'm I scared. thought it would be I'm safe. safe. When are we going I to have the chant of vestments before we flee? There's very Why little time. time. Lock chest. Return to us, and ah, then shall the maker that. return to the black city in heaven, and then shall the chant of light make it. Will you be making a donation to the chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. Might I suggest 30 silver? Oh my goodness. Thank you, my son. You what can have can it. I do for you then? A grey warden? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Logain declared the grey wardens to be outlaws. Of course he did. Tern Logain? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the Wardens. There is a price on your head. Lay low, and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... I cannot help you without risking the safety of this village enchantry. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. Okay. Now, if there is nothing else... For a Grey Warden? Yes. You have a difficult road to walk, don't you? In Andraste's name, I call upon the Maker to watch over his child and creation. Watch over his path, the Maker. Give him light in darkness. So let it be. Now, if there is nothing else, may the Maker guard you, Grey Warden. Okay, 30 silver may not have been worth it, but... Fear and ignorance. Let those who cry out. Are you here to see the Reverend Mother too? The head of this... I... Is there a way into this, like, this library area? A lot of books. Well, Chantry didn't really have anything for us. Yeah, my inventory is maxed out here. Back off. I have the right Boy. to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods, and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Mm -hmm. You could say that, yes. The nerve of these people! He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Oh, wow. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger. I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. 
Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. <laughs> Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. Ah, Morgan. <laughs> Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. All right, just. Ah, let's start with selling, actually. Sell both. Two handed weapons are not my thing. Leave the enchanted dagger. It's just six point or six damage. Uh, maybe I'll give this to someone later on. Eight strength to put this on. Use these for anything? see anything I want to buy. Get on it. All right, we made some room.
Was it for my dog? Eh? So let's talk about your mother for a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? So how is it that Terranogain survived when even the Grey Wardens didn't make it out of that place down?